Hello, welcome to Philosophy Bites. Um, today, we're going to be looking at Buddhist views on war and violence. Buddhist views on war and violence. So your objectives today are to explain Buddhist views on war and violence, and then to evaluate critically those views on war and violence. Now, Buddhists believe in a concept called Ahimsa. Nonviolence is at the heart of Buddhist thinking and behaviour. The first of the five precepts that all Buddhists should follow is avoid killing or harming any living thing. That's what Ahimsa means. Avoid killing or harming any living thing. Hindus as well as Buddhists believe this idea. What do you think of this precept? Are there any situations that you think you should break it? So, have I think about any situations? Have I think about anything to do with wars? Do you think it's ever right to, to go to war, for example? Buddhism is essentially a peaceful tradition. Nothing in Buddhist scripture gives any support to the use of violence as a way of, to resolve conflict. So is war always wrong? Big question there, is war always wrong? Hopefully you might know a little bit about history and that might help you. In times of war, give rise in yourself to the mind of compassion, helping living beings abandon the will to fight. Now, abandoning the will to fight. One of the Buddha's sermons puts this very clearly with a powerful example that stresses the need to love your enemy no matter how cruelly he treats you. Even if limbs car th sorry, even if thieves carve you limb from limb with a double-edged saw, if you make your mind hostile, you are not following my teachings. Even if the thieves carve you limb from limb with a double-edged saw, if you make your mind hostile, you are not following my teachings. What is your view on this quote? Figures like the Dalai Lama, who won the Nobel Peace Prize, demonstrate in word and deed Buddhism's commitment to peace. Hatred will not cease by hatred, but by love alone. This is the ancient law. So, do you agree with the Dalai Lama? Do you think Jesus would agree with the Dalai Lama? That's your thoughts. Many Buddhists have refused to take up arms under any circumstances, even knowing that they would be killed as a result. The Buddhist code that governs the life of monks permits them to defend themselves, but it forbids them to kill, even in self-defense. A Vietnam veteran was overheard talking to a Buddhist monk about his unswerving dedication to nonviolence. You're a fool, he said. What if an army were trying to wipe out all the Buddhists and they kill every Buddhist in the world except you? Would you not try to kill the person who was trying to kill you and in doing so save Buddhism? The monk replied patiently, it would be better to let him kill me. If there is any truth to Buddhism and the Dharma, 
It will not disappear from the face of the earth, but will reappear when people are ready to rediscover it. In killing, I will be betraying and abandoning the very teaching I will be seeking to preserve. Who do you agree with more, the monk or the Vietnam vet? Give reasons for your answer, please. Buddhists famously do martial arts, but it is always about defense and following strict spiritual rules. They use minimum defensive force. But Buddhism, like the other great faiths, has not always lived up to its principles. There are numerous examples of Buddhists engaging in violence and even war. In the 14th century, Buddhist fighters led the uprising that evicted the Mongols from China. In Japan, Buddhist monks trained samurai warriors in meditation that made them better fighters. A quote to finish. It is better to be a warrior in a garden than a gardener at war. It is better to be a warrior in a garden than a gardener at war. Have a think about that one. So your plenary is in a paragraph right, I di agree, disagree with Buddhist views on war and violence because, try and bring in that word ahimsa, uh, and you might want to mention other religions perhaps, what you think other religions would say about this.